Hello friends, welcome back. This is Cool IT Help and today in this video we're going to talk about the table view example in which I will cover the implementation of table view with the help of FXML. In my previous video, I have given the example of the table view without the FXML. So, so let's get started now. Right now I have opened the NetBeans ID 8.2. Now we will start with the basics. Go to the file menu. Now choose the new project and this is a new project window. I'll come to the category and choose the JavaFX and now here uh, on the right hand side under the projects you have to choose JavaFX application option. Once you click now press on the next button. Now here on the new JavaFX application window give a useful name to your JavaFX project like Table view fxml fxml example. Okay, now click on the finish button and it will set up the project on left hand side. Now expand this tree and you will see. As usual, we have three uh, basic files. First one is fxml.fxml. And second one is fxml document controller.java and the third one is table view fxml example.java. Now I will do a change. Now open the fxml here. So uh, I'm going to cover the table view with the help of fxml. So I will do small changes. In the default xml you will get a button but you don't need it. So delete now. Okay, right now. Okay. Before going to proceed, uh, I will add a label here. Okay, now just do a small change in the label. Like this is my table view example. And I have a small font. Now let it make it bigger. Let's make it bigger and okay you can change the font color as well as per your choice it becomes blue oh that's fine now uh, to place the, your uh, table view in the center so you can use the a uh, vertical box v box okay so I'm going to place a VBox here. So then I will add the table view inside it. So the boundaries will be remain same and we'll get the table view in the center of the stage. Because we have a stage height and width and the table view will be displayed inside this area. Okay, now next step just uh, type the table view and we will get the table view component here just drag it and place inside here okay in in my example we are not going to take uh, use of the table columns which are already uh, added inside the fxml so we can delete it now and we will see how we can add the columns from the code so okay till now we have done good now and the last okay now in the code section you just uh, expand it and now we have to assign the fx id uh, by which we will get the reference of this table view inside the controller and then we'll do more action on that so i'm going to assign this my table an ID okay so this table view is linked with this FX ID now once done just save it okay now I'm going to minimize it that's fine now come to the FX mill I will show you what we have done previous so whatever the ID we have assigned it will be updated here at this place because we updated the ID for the table view like we have set up the FX ID so the FX ID will be here 
okay now once we have done all these things now we are moving further and in the last steps now come to the fxml document controller dot java file okay here so to access that table view what we have added inside the fxml for which we have assigned the fx id so we will take the reference of that fxml id and we have to type this here add it fxml and do a private variable private table because we are going to access the table view so we will create the reference variable of table view class and we will use the same reference variable here so in this green font this is the same which is inside the fxml this is the fx id for the table view now come back to the fxml document controller okay i think the import statement is required for that okay okay that's fine now okay we have done good so far now so the rest of the code will be done at this place means inside the any slash method of the fxml document controller because of once we start the application so the start of the application will takes place from this method and it will load this fxml once this going to take going to load the fxml then it create the instance of the fxml document controller dot java and it calls the initialize method automatically then whatever the setup we trying to do so we will do it here so in our case we are trying to add the columns inside the table that will be displayed on stage so we need to do that coding here so you have to do simple table column class and now create the first column id is equal to new it's just simple and inside the parameterized constructor and give the name of that column because of this will be the name of the column okay now do the same for rest of the column that we trying to add so so i will add four different column so the second one is name and the third one is age and the fourth one is email so we have created all these four column objects and now at last we have to add these four columns inside the table so we will use the reference of, of the table view which is on the fxml so now table view dot get columns method and put one more dot and call the add all method okay now it is expecting the collection of objects so you can pass uh, the table column objects here with the, placing the comma id name comma age comma email oh let me modify it okay now it's fine so at line number 43 we have added all these four columns id name age and email inside the table okay so once we execute this application so we will see a table view on the stage and that table have these four columns okay that's all we have done now save it and before running it you can you need to build it so 
you can go to the run menu and choose this clean build project option or you can simply press the F11 for clean build this project. Okay now getting this message build successful everything is going so good so far. Now go to this class and which has a start method now we'll do right click and we like using this option run file and it will launch the application okay now boom we got it what we expected we were expecting that we should have a table and we have all those four columns that we added from the code it's really simple so you can try it your own it's simple that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching